In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Smart Panel feature on Infinix phones. So for this video, I'll be using the Infinix Hot 50 Pro Plus, but I've also tested it on the Infinix Note 50 Pro as well. So yeah, it works on most recent Infinix phones. So what you want to do is to access your apps and then you go to settings, scroll down till you get to special function, tap it. You should see Smart Panel. So tap this and enable the first option you see. So after enabling it, just look on the side of your phone. You may find a new icon. If you're using light mode, you may not see it clearly, but for me it's on this side. So if I swipe here, you should see now that I have this option that has like some apps that I can easily access just by swiping this way. Instead of doing something like this to access all my apps, I can just swipe this way to access my favorite apps. To adjust the apps that you see here, after swiping, scroll down and then tap edit and you get to see all your apps. So if you're interested in using any app, let's say for example, this video player here, all I'll do is just tap it and it's going to get added. After that, I'll tap done. But if you tap here, tools, you'll get to see other things that you can use. Like there's a screen recorder here, a screen lock option here, floating window, and a few other features. You don't have a lot of features here. So most of the times you're going to be using your favorite apps. So after that, just tap done. And this is the app that I just added. If you want to remove the app, you can just tap on it and it will be removed. So that's one of the first things you can do with the smart panel feature. You can also show recent files. So if you take a picture, it's going to be a recent file. Like if you just took a picture, it will be recent. So if you swipe this way, you tap recent files, you should see some of your recent pictures. But for me, I don't like this option, so I turn it off. There's also a smart hub feature. This one works in multiple ways. Maybe I'll have to make another video showing you how to use the smart hub feature. I can't show all of that in this video. There's also the scenario based suggestions. So with this one, when you're browsing the internet, say you open the Chrome browser. So this is the Chrome browser. I'm going to open it. Let's just open a random website using Chrome. All right. So after opening the website, you can see that this is a pretty long article. So you can just swipe this way and then tap here and it's going to summarize the article for you. So this is the summary. And this is possible by using the smart suggestion.